everyone hope everyone is doing great in this video we will learn about image tracing knife tool and simple rotating reflecting techniques So now let's talk about one more very important tool of Adobe Illustrator and that is image tracing. Okay, so now let's first discuss what is image tracing. So just like tracing which we do in our real life, uh, the Adobe Illustrator also provides you some tools to trace an image in Adobe Illustrator. But obviously it has some limitations but it uh, is a very good tool and you can just uh, get so much help from it. And let's download some image. I have downloaded this one. You can also download the same one or some other one from here. I have already downloaded it. You can download any other image you want but uh, you should keep this thing in mind that it should be simple. So uh, the next thing is how to open some image in Adobe Illustrator. So to open that particular file, what will I have to do is just click on file and click on this place. Then choose the folder from where you want to open. And this is the image which I want to open. So just uh, click on place. So the question here is why we need image tracing, why we can't use this image. To understand the answer of this question, let's first draw a rectangle and place it over here. So first thing here is I cannot see the deer because I have pasted the image first and then I have drawn a rectangle. So to see that deer, what I have to do is I have to select arrange send to back so it means now this one is sent to back and that image which i placed first has come forward so you see i have a white background here i cannot use it in some other backgrounds the other issue is if you zoom in then you can see that its pixels are breaking. It's because it is not in its vector form. It is just an image. A vector is something whose pixels are not broken no matter how much we zoom in. Now let's take an example of simple circle. So no matter how much I zoom in, its pixels are not breaking. This is because it is in vector form. So, to have this image in vector form and to uh, remove this white background, we are going to use image tracing. To trace this image, either we can select this image trace from right here or we can go to Windows and we can select image trace. So, from here, we have so many options. From here, select preview so you can see what Adobe Illustrator is doing with your image. And this is the threshold. You can increase or you can decrease it to get a perfect image here. Uh, there are many other options. You can also select color, but my uh, here was already in a black color, so I am using just black and white. So here we go. We got a deer now next what we have to do is we have to expand it either we can go in object and then expand or we can just click from here and here we go it is it has become now an object next thing i can do is you can see it is still having the white background with it so how to remove this one uh, to ungroup it first select this one and right click and ungroup and now you can see that the white background is separated to visualize it more clearly we can just place it right here and you can see the white background is now removed and we can place over deer here and you can see that uh, the deer is separated from this white background and one other thing no matter how much i zoom in its pixels are broken so this was all about image tracing uh one thing to keep in mind is the more clearer picture you have the more good the trace will be uh, however you still have to do some amendments with it because you can see it is still not perfectly shaped so these were some limitations of image tracing uh, but overall we have um, made a good deal
let's discuss the knife tool. Uh, first, why I need the knife tool? So let's suppose I want its one half to be colored in black and the other half to be colored in red. So how can I do that? Right now, if I change its color to red, then I can see that its whole color is changing. So uh, what I can uh, do is just simply use the knife tool to cut it in two halves. So now uh, the knife tool, it can either be present right here or sometimes it is present with a razor tool, just hold it and you can see some other options. Or if it is neither here nor here, then you can just click on these three dots and uh, just search these all tools and you can find it here too. To use this tool, simply select it and using Alt, just make a straight line. If you don't press all, then it can make random shapes. So if you want a straight line, then press alt and then draw a line. So now you can see I have it in half. So to make this one and this one a group, I will just right click and right here I have selected the group and the other part is already a part. So I can select it to be red and here half color is red and half color is black. So now let's um, rotate this uh, vector or suppose I want to reflect it. So how can I do that is uh, simply select both of them and first make a group and right click and you can see this transform in transform you can either reflect it and you can have different angles. So I'm selecting it 90 and OK and you can see it is reflected. I can also reflect it at many different angles. And uh, one thing is, you can see that there are these two lines. So first of all, Control Z. And this was because it was not in the group. So I will select them and I will select all of them. And I will make a group. So now when I will just simply transform, reflect, OK. So now you can see it is reflected. The other one is to rotate it. So again, go in transform, in rotate and just i am going to select it to 180 you can also preview it and then click on ok so here are some options to rotate and reflect your vector in adobe illustrator so this was all about today see you in next video keep watching <music>